Yep. Yeah. So this is a Bug Guy Subaru WRX. I purchased it for an insane deal to take the entire drivetrain out and put it into the rally Miata. That's right guys, the Subaru WRX all wheel drive swap in the Miata is finally happening. What, two years after I talked about it? I know this thing looks a little beat up on the outside. There's some rust, the two-toned taillights, crappy paint, uh, ugly wheels. I know it doesn't look the best, but this thing is very special. So let me tell you what it's got. Firstly, it has a fully built EJ205 in it. Wise co pistons, manly rods, ARP studs, upgraded head gaskets, everything. That engine has zero miles on it. That's because there's something wrong with it. Let's play this clip of me starting it uh, yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's why we don't use that motor. <laughs> As you can tell, not exactly running quite right. After the previous owner built it, he started it, and it turns out there was a crack in the engine block, so it just poured coolant all over the headers and all over the entire motor. That's what the smoking was. The oil leak is just the oil cooler wasn't tightened all the way. So yeah, this, this engine block has a crack in it, but everything else is good. It's got new everything, new accessories, new oil pump, new alternator. It's got a brand new turbo. Unfortunately, it is the stock size, but it is a brand new turbo. A full three inch exhaust, catless. It has a brand new clutch, a light and flywheel. Cobb V3 access ports, 1000cc injectors, upgraded fuel pump, upgraded radiator, Mishimoto oil cooler. WRX intercooler, upgraded intake, aftermarket blow off valve. I think that's pretty much it. But as you can tell, that is a lot of parts. It's everything that I need in order to fix this engine and make this drivetrain insane. Guess how much I got it for? 600 bucks. And if you know anything about Subarus, you know that's an insane deal. I've been looking at trying to buy a WRX for a while and even a rusty piece of junk with 200,000 miles goes for three grand nowadays. WRXs are incredibly expensive for what they are. Finding this one, 600 bucks, with essentially a running and driving built motor, that's a good deal. I do have to rebuild this motor, but that's not a huge deal. 99% of the internals are still good, as we said, so I only have to buy a few things and then just transport it all into a new block. Now you might be wondering, what's the plan for this thing? Even though you guys probably want me to, we are not going to be starting on the actual swap into the railing yada right away. What I want to do before we transfer all this stuff into the Miata is get it running and driving in the Subaru. So we're gonna pull the motor, I'm gonna rebuild it, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to rebuild this motor all by myself. Am I nervous about it? Yes, but I really wanted to learn how to build motors and I'm never gonna learn unless I just do it. And what's a better way to learn than on a $600 built motor? That's cheaper than a completely stock motor from Japan. So. So we'll pull the motor, rebuild it, put it back into this WRX. We'll get it running and driving, we'll get it tuned, we'll get it ripping. We'll lift it so it's sitting about where we want the rally Miata to sit with this drivetrain. That way I can take measurements and know, you know specific things when we go to do the swap. Once all that's done, we'll have some fun with the WRX, maybe take it to a couple rally crosses, maybe off-road it a little bit, and then we'll transfer the contents into the rally Miata. I wanna do it that way for a couple reasons. Number one, I want to get some experience working on the WRX. I've never worked on the mechanics of a WRX, despite owning one, so I really want to learn as much as I can before I try swapping the drivetrain into another car. Second thing, more content, obviously. We'll have fun with this, and then we'll have more fun with the Real Miata. Thirdly, it'll make the swap easier if we know everything is working in this stock car before trying to make it work in a completely different chassis. You guys already saw some cinematics, but I'll take you for a little walk around of the car. Mishimoto oil cooler, upgraded radiator, the fully built EJ20. It's a little bit of a mess. He never actually finished the swap because when he put it together and he started it, he realized that the engine block was cracked. So everything is here, but you know, needs all buttoning up. Brand new turbo, full exhaust, good battery. It all works. I can start it right now, which is crazy. Interior is 
you know, not the cleanest thing, but it's not too bad. I've been really missing my WRX, so having one again makes me really excited. I I can't really explain in words how excited I am for this this thing. Not only for swapping the internals into the Rail Miata, but just getting this one running and driving and having fun with this one. Access port is in the glove box down there. We have a bunch of parts. We have a matching tail light. Window tent's gonna have to go because more of a window bubble tint. More parts, intercooler, all the other stuff. Lots and lots and lots of parts. And of course, a big fat exhaust tip that very easily passes the fist test. So yeah, that is the new WRX. Now, I was so excited for this thing that last night I hopped on Facebook Marketplace and looked around for a new EJ20 block. I, uh, I found one. It's unfortunately a six hour drive round trip, which sucks, especially since I don't have anything to drive besides a old 90s Japanese car that sits at 4,000 RPMs on the highway, but it's a good block and it's a pretty good deal. So we're gonna go ahead, drive, pick up that block and already get started on getting all the parts to get this thing working. Whoa. 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 So what? I finally get a Subaru and a bunch of really nice Evos start showing up. I don't think that's a coincidence. Still there, that's good. Well, that's still there too, that's good. And there we have it, we're back. We've got the new block. So the next step is to pull this motor out. I'm gonna test it to make sure the block is indeed cracked and it's not like a leaky head gasket. If the block is cracked, then we'll tear it all the way down. Then we'll send those heads and this block off to the machine shop. Once we get all the stuff back to the machine shop, we'll reassemble it, put it back in the car. That's step one of this build. Step two is transferring these contents into the rail Miata. But this engine is indeed wider than the frame rails on a Miata. So the very, very vague basic idea that we're gonna do once we swap all the internals into the, the rail Miata, we're gonna chop the front end off right at the firewall. Then we're gonna build a custom tube front end that allows the stock WRX drivetrain to bolt in. The subframe, the, the, you know, the suspension, everything, just to bolt in straight to the tube chassis. That way we don't have to do any custom mounts, no, no custom suspension, no custom axles. We'll bolt that up and then we'll put the rear subframe of the WRX into the Miata. Shorten the stock WRX drivetrain, transfer all the interior, the wiring, the ECU into this car, and it will be WRX powered. It will essentially be a WRX in Miata clothing. But as I said, we have to get this thing fixed first. So that's the, that's the more important part for now. If you did enjoy this video, if you are excited, please give it a like, it really helps out. If you didn't though, please give it a dislike and tell me why, that also helps out. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're excited to see the world's first Subaru powered all wheel drive EJ205 swapped Miata, subscribe. If you want to support the channel and make this entire build happen faster, better, and smoother, check out Patreon in the description below. I really appreciate it. Hello. Sorry. No, it's all right. That was just a really, really cool uh, Comcast uh, salesman. He was just trying to get me to buy Comcast, but he was a really cool dude. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, oh, I already said all that. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. The next video will either be pulling the motor on the Subaru or reassembling the motor on the adventure bus, so bye, later.